Alright, good morning and welcome to Sunday. It's the top of the week and um, I've been trying to think of how I can do things a little bit differently. So um, we're going to start today with a card of the week. Um, we have the six of cups in reverse. Are we going to focus? Let's focus everybody. Let's focus on the thing at hand today. Come on y'all. Please, please do the focus. There you go. There you go. Okay, so it's the Six of Cups in reverse. The Six of Cups. It has a playful quality to it. This is all about connecting to your sense of creativity, spontaneity. Um, this is, there is sort of like reminiscing here about the past. There's, there's, um, um, how do you say? reminiscing about the past in the, in the sense of um, not being totally present and so that's why the message of playfulness is so important it's about um, what can you do to find your sense of curiosity again about the world that's directly in front of you instead of focusing too much on the past because the past is the past there's nothing changes about it really and we do have a tendency to look back on things in a way that um, you know, we remember the happy things and not the, not necessarily the, the things that hurt us or the things that, you know, are tumultuous. Um, what else have I written down about this card? So here's some advice based on this card this week for you. This is about practicing forgiving yourself and others. Connect with your inner child. Connect with your intuition by inviting spontaneity. Let go of the past for a new chance at love. Um, you are in your own way in regards to love. And then, you know, if it's work or finance related, we have that there's too much adult adulting happening. You might be taking your responsibility a little bit too seriously. So some advice in that regard is to maybe change your attitude about something because if you find that no matter where you go in any kind of work situation, you're finding the same kind of um, the same issues follow or the same disappointments follow you um, this card is sort of indicating that maybe you are the common denominator here so again just invite spontaneity and creativity allow inspiration to flow to you um, give yourself permission to be playful spontaneous and creative you will connect more with your authentic self and your intuition too much adulting none of this I don't have time make the time this is about moving forward in a way that is independent or moving house and leaving home. And so the Six of Cups is a reminder to stay present, open-minded, curious, and the world is a magical place. And that's what we have for this week. Now, let's get into just the general reading for today. Um, I will be thinking about ways to ask different questions so that maybe we can get some different results. Um, or just, um, I don't know, but this works for me, like doing at least one each morning. If I do more than that, then I'm, I'm committing to a level of, um, consistency that may turn out to be inconsistent and I'd rather be consistent, you know, all in due time. There's no rush. So let's see what card, what deck wants to get picked today? You know, I'm always down for the moons, the moonology. Here we go. Um, another consistent thing I've been doing is I have been keeping up with my dream journal. I do have pretty weirdly specific dreams sometimes, and usually always I'm traveling somewhere. Um, and now that I'm doing it more and more and writing them down, I find that I'm having more specific experiences, like I'm having conversations with people that I want to ask questions of and things like that. So yeah, dream journals, interesting stuff. I do have a pretty consistent sleep schedule in order to keep up with the level of dreaming that is being done. So then I, I go to bread, bed, bread. I'm hungry. I go to bed at a time that's like 
most people would consider pretty early. But maybe not. It um, really depends on what your life is like. <clears throat> I think by like 9.30 I'm getting ready for bed. 10 o'clock I'm in bed. And then I fall asleep depending on how interesting the show is that I'm watching. Or whatever. Whoever I'm talking to. And then, um... Today I woke up at 6.40 without an alarm. So I'm, I'm up pretty early. I like, I like my morning hours. This is when I do my reads. Or the YouTubes. It's when I do my my dream journaling, my, my, any kind of journaling, my own personal reads I do in the morning. And so yeah, well you remember, if you watched the previous videos, you will have seen that there was like a request by Spirit to um, create more routines, more morning and evening routines for yourself. So I'm just getting more specific about what that is for me, for you, it could be something totally different. Okay, enough talking, let's do this. Believe in the impossible, blue moon, once in a blue moon. There's some kind of opportunity here that is a bit of a rarity. A chance you might not get again. What is happening here? Full moon in Taurus, your dreams need a practical plan. Okay. It's time to release negativity, full moon Scorpio. Oh man, this reminds me of, um, well also Taurus Scorpio, isn't that, first of all, aren't those opposite signs? Second of all, didn't North Node just move into Taurus and therefore South Node is in Scorpio? There's something to that here. You can Google it and look it up for yourself, like a little bit more information about what that means. But the North Node is the destiny point, as in suddenly on everyone's mind, <laughs> the focus is this quality of Taurus. Yeah, I think it was in Gemini and now it's in Taurus. Believe in the impossible. So there's some sort of shift here. And in order to reap the benefits of this kind of shift that literally only happens once in a blue moon, I think every two years or 18 months or something like that, the, the point shifts. The destiny point shifts. That's why if you have a lot of colleagues and friends are about your age, we all have the same north node. For me, it's Capricorn. And I know people, you know, a year older, younger than me, whatever, similar age, are also Capricorn. North node means we all have, sort of have like the same destiny, same propensity, same, same similar lessons to learn. And so the message I believe here is that so this thing that occurs only every once in a while, there is a shift that is occurring and being aware of these energies, both good and bad happening simultaneously, like if you focus too much on the negative aspects of, of change, and I'm taking this from the Betty White documentary that I watched last night. It's only up till January 11th, so you better go watch it if you want to. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just saying. Betty White lived by a, a, a saying her mother would tell her that something like, if you live by, if you focus too much on the negative, you'll never get to taste the good things. They will just pass you by and you won't get to enjoy it. So it's really like do yourself the favor of like enjoying whatever is happening around you. Don't focus too much on the negative here. Um, I do believe that is a practical approach, but it, I think, you know, full moon in Taurus, I think is just saying, do try and think, do, do try and ground yourself in, in a time that feels extremely uncertain which is now and has been for a while, wouldn't you agree? I think that this is definitely echoing this Six of Cups reversed, which I will reverse it for us here. Mm. I'm gonna read from the book just a little bit. Full Moon Taurus, okay, here's, here's something you can do. 
Write down 10 things that you know are wonderful about you. Chasing money doesn't work. You need to chase a dream. Jealousy or envy create negative energy and attract negativity. More exercise is called for. Yeah, I've been feeling that personally, but that's because I was like in a car for a really long time and then quarantining in my room and it's cold outside. We can't like really run, but can hike. Okay, so the full moon Taurus then is pay attention to what you're attracting to. If you're, if you are um, experiencing negative thoughts or emotions, do what you can to sort of release that and, and move on. That's where I think the Six of uh, Cups is really coming in here to show you that you can give yourself permission to um, feel playful again um, once you've forgiven yourself and or, or others for something that has occurred in the past. It's time to release that negativity. Um, yeah, because even Full Moon Taurus says, get back to Earth and work through any negative feelings you've been dealing with to find balance between being passionate and being overly intense. Uh, pay attention to your cash flow right now as well would be <laughs> some sort of like interesting takeaway from, from this card as well. Um, Full Moon Scorpio. Ah, this is the card that I've been feeling this whole time but just showed up today is emote. It's all better out than in. It's time to move from living fearfully to living joyfully. Mm, grudges are toxic. Let something go. This is about the end of an argument. You have all you need inside you to bring about your desired result. If you've been feeling paranoid or acting weird, take this card as a very direct message from the cosmos to stop it. Worrying yourself is pointless. It's time to release any negativity you have around the situation you're asking about. If someone has been unkind to you, perhaps it's time for you to release them. This card heralds an emotionally intense time since both the full moon and Scorpio themselves are both extremely intense. It's time for you to feel all your feelings. There could be some nastiness in the air when you pull this card. If that's the case, take it as a sign to move away from anyone or anything you feel is toxic. <coughs> Excuse me. Anytime Scorpio shows up, it's we're, we're dealing with our shadow selves <coughs> here. So, wow. Okay, guys, this is resonating. Say something about it. Say something in the messages, in the comments. And the blue moon, believe in the impossible. If you can believe it, you can achieve it. The situation is unlikely to repeat. What happened may only happen once. The person you're inquiring about is a rare find. I think the energy of of today and in general this moment in time is we do have like energies come and they go and sometimes ener certain energies are good for certain things yada yada right like the energy we're in right now just lends itself extremely well to this activity of um, <clears throat> releasing the past, finding your joy, allow spontaneity and creativity to sort of fill your your mind and your heart space so that you can attract things into your life from a place of positivity instead of worry or anxiety or regret. That's what's happening here. So let's get into the actual read and see where we go about that. Um, I'm not going to do any clarifications this time. I will just look at any zodiac signs that show up. go two of cups underneath this is about some sort of uh, either commitment or feeling like sharing your true self with others this is about emoting someone here needs to say something or express themselves authentically to another person yep 
This is about releasing anxiety, having a fresh start. Okay. This is what I'm talking about. It's better out than in. I do this all the time. So my friends know this about me. But um, I will sometimes say things just to get it outside of my body, just to just for it to come out and into like awareness. There's not usually I'm not usually asking for something to change or to happen or ex I mean expecting for something to change. I just need to get it outside of me because otherwise it eats me up inside. This is what I'm feeling again. I know this came out recently of like this need to someone needs to sort of come clean. I don't know if this was yesterday's or the day before, but this is still here. Um, the energy underneath is this desire to, um, see eye to eye with somebody. There needs to be some sort of like connection here and it's surrounding, um, a situation that has, um, felt like, um, it's possibly felt like it's been holding you back. Or keeping you up at night or, or something like that and so you may feel like a bit in the dark here and if that's true for you I just will say the seed is here to tell us that all new life begins in in darkness I mean like you can't even see this card like what it's really doing but there's a seed there there is a seed there you'll have to trust me and it's sprouting okay and um, we have winter quarter moon in the center, which is all about gratitude. So this is the, the balance here, justice is here. So that Libra, Libra's here. If you got Libra in your chart, this could be a message for you. And we also have spring here as well, echoing the seed. All right, this is really this is a really great message here because the time right now is to cultivate gratitude. This is about spending time with loved ones and doing all that you can to sort of place yourself in this sort of like loving and radiant place away from negativity. Create space between you and the things that um, put you in that negative space. Okay, create space there because things want to come into balance and the work that you need to do is sort of uh, cultivate gratitude for some past lessons um, and for the people in your life. This is about listening more to your intuition again and look at that we have the seven of pentacles again which right under full moon Taurus which is exactly that ground yourself. There's evidence here that somebody has been working hard towards something that they want, um, something about a fresh start, wanting to turn a new leaf. There's, there is evidence of growth here as things begin to thaw. We have winter, icy, snow, and then spring. Every, something is thawing. So someone's emotions here are thawing around some sort of issue, um, which is great because it's just allowing for movement things are starting to move and I don't see any movement yet here but that's sort of the goal is that something that's been very rigid something very painful or insecure um, or something that has made you feel insecure is coming into balance by way of um, some sort of emotional expression and so that's why this is very difficult is to, to release this negativity because it's been sort of like locked up um, and justice is here to, and I love justice, that justice is a polar bear in this metaphor, like in this story, uh, is a polar bear on a glacier in the ocean. Ocean. Because while there, there might be this overwhelming element of water here, it is actually an appropriate, appropriate amount of water energy to deal with how much, how, you know, all of, all of these swords here, the nine of swords and the eight of swords. So we are back tracking backwards. Somebody has been wanting to overcome 
some sort of negative thought patterns or, or belief systems that they've held on to that have been painful. <clears throat> and it is possible that it, it becomes so overwhelming that we need to retreat for some time and hibernate and cultivate um, confidence in order to pursue this further. The medicine here is is to release that negativity and sometimes it is as simple as forgiving yourself for you know how you've treated yourself in order to survive like the things you've had to learn to to cope with whatever the situation is the other side of it um, is you need to really tell somebody how you feel good or bad <clears throat> okay all we got is Libra here, so let's just look at um, um, justice. What is really coming into balance here? Or if you're a Libra, dealing with a Libra. <laughs> Five of Pentacles, Knight of Cups. There's the movement. <clears throat> Summer. Someone's trying to understand how how they feel still, I guess, is why nothing is being said. <laughs> and so if your dreams need a practical plan, the practical element of this is just trying to figure out what what the dream is, perhaps, or what the exercise of grounding is really revealing. So part of what it could be revealing, we have a five, six of pentacles, and now seven up here. So there's a progression here moving quickly from, um, again, this negative, this negative place of feeling like either left out in the cold or like you don't really have what it takes to move beyond some circumstance here. And what's showing up is that the way out of this is to take slow action that is extremely connected to your intuition into your emotions take take the first steps with truth leading your heart that is going to um i think it might make you f for the first time you might feel alive um, but at the same time you do have to take good care of yourself and not overdo it because this might be something of like a a thing to flex for yourself to try it out and then see how things change and then take frequent uh, breaks here because you know what I see is this the summer card and the summer is take frequent breaks from the Sun the Sun is fun but it's also you know it, it does exhaust you even just just being in the Sun you don't have to be, even be doing do you know what I mean so that's what I mean the Knight of Cups and then Summer showing up here is saying this is the right change to make. And then I see the Six of Pentacles and the King of Swords. I think once you discover this new path, this new way of expressing yourself in a way that is more authentic, you will uh, be a, in a better position to give and receive things that you need. To have more authentic interactions with people friends, family, what have you. Um, and I do feel like this is something that is now going to carry you into this future, this new way of um, being, this new way of thinking about your needs and the needs of other people around you, like the balance between those. Okay. Balancing your needs versus the needs of people around you. And it's I don't think the message here is like well either I get what I want or they get what they want this is about some sort of truthful exchange that leads to greater balance for all for all <laughs> full moon Scorpio better out than in I love that attuned to the moon better out than in so 
that's what I got. I hope it helps. Enjoy. Um, I am going to keep try and keep putting song recommended listening music into the description. So if you want to have a little listen to some music, I will pick a song based on how this makes me feel. Maybe what I put on right after this. And um, what else? Um, I don't think I'm actually ready to post my other YouTube channel on there yet because I will take my time figuring out how to set that up. Um, but, yeah, I guess that's all I got. Uh, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, yada, yada, yada. Peace.